Hello, I'm Peter Drent, CEO and co-founder of Grelf Petrographic Imaging. Today we're going to talk about how we are going to innovate thin section analysis. The word petro originates from Greek language and means rock. Rock imaging, petrographic imaging, is very slow. It can take minutes. Diagnosis is often not accurate due to human error. Current diagnosis is very manual, so not cost-effective. But we have to realize that billions of dollars are spent every year collecting rocks. And it is essential that information about their content is retrieved correctly and analyzed. Our main market will be the mining and soil science industry. Potential customers will be companies like Schlumberger, a famous company in the field of oil exploration. But surely there are other markets for us, like archaeology, concrete analysis, and in the paint industry. In the picture you can see rocks that are cut into sections. This section will be mounted on glass and is further polished, creating the thin section. But there is a bigger picture. We have collected 842 pounds of rocks on the moon. And as we speak, we're doing the same on Mars. Because our technology is fully digital, we always can go back to the original data set, even after years, for new insights. This is our solution. Our digital pipeline is fast. Ours will become minutes. The whole, digi the whole diagnosis is digital, eliminating human error. And because it's automated and digital, it will be cost efficient. This is the global microscopy software market. From 2020 to 2025, the market size is increased by a factor of two, to a total of one billion. Our market, the petrographic and soil imaging market, follows the same growth. It will grow from 75 million in 2018 to 137 million by 2024. This may even be bigger if we address other market segments as well. The addressable market is 10% of the total market. Our analysis shows and documents all the steps in the imaging process, creating a complete transparency. As we work on macro scale, we are faster than microscope based systems. Because we are digital, we can take much more information into consideration, making our diagnosis more accurate while being cost efficient. And now imagine having all these thin sections available, all these collections available, digitally, available to analyze further, start through data mining and retrieve more information than ever before. Our business model is simple and straightforward. We charge per diagnosis. And the collections that we host, we charge per capacity. For bigger customers, like Schlumberger, we plan to make subscription-based diagnosis plans available. We are not alone in the market. There are different types of competitors. The traditional microscope manufacturer, the new digital microscope manufacturer. There are suppliers, kind of integrators, that would like to supply the whole lab. And there are consultants. The whole diagnosis process can be divided into the following steps. Imaging, digital storage, analysis, and data mining. We plan to offer the best solution for every step. This is our progress. IP was assigned to the University of Guelph in January this year. We made a collection of software routines available already in March. We plan to have the tracking and documentation of the image analysis subsets available in Q3. And in Q4, we want to have the hosting server online. This is the team. All started with Dr. Richard Heck here at the University of Guelph. Dr. Eddie Ma, also originated from the University of Guelph, is handling all the digital technology. I have a background in business, 25 years at Nikon and now involved in a scale-up. We are looking for partners on the software side, helping us releasing our digital imaging and analysis services. On the hardware side, we're looking for partners setting up the digital cloud for the petrographic industry. We are proud to be in this pitch competition. With the prize money, we would like to create an animation, the animation that will explain our digital pipeline. This animation will be used to find our first customers. Thank you for listening, and I'm happy to answer any questions. Thanks again for the pitch. This is a digital microscope space is definitely an interesting space to be playing in. My question was, 
what are the actionable insights that your digital microscope would lead to and how will this change for the different stakeholders? Okay, that's a, that's a very good question indeed. Um, you know, what, what we bring to the market will be the speed. Uh, now people are looking on a micro level, we want to operate on the macro level. So it means much higher throughput. So it means that the sampling frequency can go up. Maybe, maybe you've seen in the news that uh, a few weeks ago they discovered that Greenland was green in the past. And how they discovered this? They had some ice cores from 40 years old and they re-examinated that. And then they discovered, oh, Greenland has to be green. So there are all the oil corporation companies, they keep their course of all the minefields. And they only did it, they only analyzed certain parts of it. Now we have the opportunity to digitize everything and analyze everything. Thanks, Peter. Um, it's great to see how much uh, imagery and the capability has improved uh, to enable this level of analysis. But as you think through your customers' requirements, can imagery alone solve uh, the customer demand um, and be a replacement for the physical analysis? Or do you think of this more as a complement? I think it's always more as a complement. Uh, you know, digital never can replace humans. But it, digital imaging can help humans. You know, we all want to make the same transition that pathology made. You know, this this market is now where pathology was 40 years ago. And look at pathology now. AI is is helping diagnosis, improving the capacity, improving the results. We want to achieve the same in pathographic imaging. Great, thank you. Uh, hello, Peter. Uh, my uh, question has to do with uh, your uh, potential market. And um, so it can be a challenge at times to uh, introduce new technologies into a market that uh, is already served with embedded uh, solutions uh, that are meeting the current needs. And so uh, my question is related to um, Defining the pain point in the industry, why do people need this solution? Where is the current issue that, um, you know, the existing solutions that are out there um, that they're not addressing? It's, it's the speed of things, you know, you're completely right. There is now, there is a process. But if a company needs to wait for weeks or even months on results, you know, we want to increase the feedback loop and get results diagnosis much faster to the customers. Now that increase in efficiency, uh, I think that will justify the extra investment. All right, uh, then as a bit of a follow up, is this a known issue in the industry? Uh, or is there bottlenecks in, in this uh, aspect of testing that is preventing uh, the company or the potential customers from moving forward on projects or you know, uh, slowing up their workflow? Now, we did a survey, and in the survey, it was shown that uh, only 25% were somehow satisfied with current solution. This means the majority of customers is not satisfied with current solutions. Okay, good, thanks. Peter, I have a tricky question for you. So first, I thought it's a very niche market, but then looking at your uh, background, you are a very experienced senior executive in this space. So there must be some magic to this business. What is your motivation? I'm curious about why you're joining a startup in this space. Maybe, uh, maybe the word pathology uh, is the answer. You know, pathology in 40 years has changed to a very manual, the traditional market. Now, 40 years later, it's completely digital. New companies have come. And I think the pathology market has grown tremendously. So digitization, increase of efficiency, can grow a market rapidly. So what looks like a niche market is actually for you a huge opportunity. That's why you are embarking, embarking on this journey. Yes, okay. you know, and uh, we have the example. Excellent, thank you. Thank you.